Life gives you COVID, you make lemonade. A little beer coverage you can get. Of course, it's going to be a pretty difficult tramp, this one. You reckon you're going to spend the night out here with me? My 14 and a half year old Jack Russell, the cupcake fireplace. How cool is that? I've got my pig hunting knife. I didn't want to upset some of you non-meat lovers, so... Oh, better than dog biscuits. All my clothes just reek of smoke. So, um, I'm going to go off for a night I fish. How's it going folks? They say when life gives you COVID, you make lemonade. And I'm pretty excited today because I have been working hard for the last month working on a bathroom, changing it from this through to that. And now it's finally finished. So I have earned myself a day off to go hiking, but we're actually in level three. So I thought what I'll do is I'll do an overnight uh, hike. I'm going to try out a, a couple of new things today actually. I'm going to try out my gear hammock tent. Um, I'm going to try out a new uh, Kiwi camping fly, which I'd like to introduce you to my dog, Bentley. Bentley, come. Now look, I know we don't have bears in New Zealand, but Bentley is about as close as a little bear cub as you can get. So anyway, this is my new companion. Uh, Bentley is four months old. He's going to get his vaccination today, actually, and that will allow us to actually take him outside the gate um, so he doesn't get that disease from other dogs. So we welcome Bentley to the show. Once I set up tent, um, I'm going to uh, make myself a coffee. I've brought my um, small coffee machine along with me in my pack. I'm using my chair that I haven't used for about two years. I've got the Game Gear tent and uh, my fly. Of course it's going to be a pretty difficult tramp this one so I've made sure I've got my GPS and actually I'm a little bit nervous on this one so I've actually got my EPIRB actually on person. Bentley's going to come along on me on my very first overnighter. So follow along and um, we'll catch you hopefully on trail. Uh, it's going to be a little bit muddy um, and then it's going to be a little bit rugged. I'm going to need a grain of salt for this video. In fact, um, you're probably going to need lots of grains of salt for this video. Because we're making lemonade. Energy by the time we get to the end. Oh, hang on there. This is looking promising. You can see a clearing. Oh, yes. What a lovely little spot. Oh, yeah, first tramp. You're a tough dog. So I'm going to put my hammock up through here. These trees should be fine. Um, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, I'm going to time lapse this so uh, you're not having to watch it for too long. So, there you go. I'll just uh, give you a quick look around. So the carabiners go on to this ladder strap and so you're able to tension this up by looking through those. Aluminium poles from uh, side to side. Now normally this cocoon comes with its own shield. Um, I had some questions with regard to uh, the cover that it came with and so I'm just waiting for Game Gear to get back to me uh, before I do a full review on that. 
but uh, ordinarily you could use this um, as a bivy tent by pegging this down onto the ground and it has its own cover but a little pocket on the inside and it has these stretchy cords in order to keep it in balance and the straps <clears throat> Really good straps, they just um, double wrap around a tree so it saves the tree from being damaged. So, there you go. Um, I've actually bought a, a ground sheet, so I'll just grab my ultralight ground sheet. Um, I don't tend to carry this very often, but um, for this trip I have. I last used this uh, Kiwi Camping Kickback chair around about two years ago when I did this video here in Prongia. Um but sadly um, the feet dug into the ground and I lost two of them so kind of stopped using it I lost both of these but done a little bit of a mod looks a bit like uh, a piece of uh, butte line pipe so I can actually use this to blow on a fire too I'm actually being serious Put that on there. Kickback chair. It takes a hundred kgs. I'm just a little bit under that. So I should be fine. So that's the Kiwi Camping kickback chair. I'll just go and get my um a compact coffee maker out of my pack and I'll set that up and I'll do a bit of a, a run through on making coffee. Hey Bentley, how are you? How are my little man? Where's you been? Better grab my titanium cup though. You reckon you're going to spend the night out here with me? Not a chance. No? <laughs> we could, well you can get 200 gram uh, kgs in one of these things so between us that's, you know, we're under 200, aren't we? Yeah, but no. <laughs> okay. You just relax in my nice little campsite and I'm going to go and make myself a coffee. It's a good thing I bought my titanium cup just to keep the pack weight down. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. I didn't really have a coffee machine in my pack. <laughs> oh. What am I going to do next? Thinking I was going to have bacon and eggs. So I'm going to have to get a fire going. I'm going to try something a little bit different. So I don't really want to scorch this um, beautiful campground here. It must be... Um, it must be looked after by Doc. Uh, look, the grounds are just immaculate. Must be a very responsible owner. So um, I'll get a fire going uh, shortly. And obviously I'm gonna have to go and find some dead standing wood somewhere. My little bear cup. Oh, you're just so gorgeous. Hey. Mm -hmm. We're gonna enjoy a nice relaxing cup of coffee. So for those that haven't been following me um, until recently, um, Bentley has replaced um, my 14 and a half year old Jack Russell uh, called Jet. And um, sadly he passed away um, because he had a few seizures and he wasn't very well and he was old. 
So I did two uh, camps with him just before he passed away. So if you like to check out that link there, um, you can see those. You're going to need your tissues though on the first one. So uh, Bentley is a four month old canoodle. So that's a calm terrier and a poodle. Um, not sure if he's going to end up being a tramping companion, but it's early days yet. Well, I suppose it's going to make some lunch a better crack on. Now, what I'm trying out a little bit differently this time is um, I'm going to call it the cupcake fireplace. Kind of my own idea a little bit. Uh, so that's my tinder. Swipe left. But yeah, this is what I call the cupcake fireplace. How cool is that? All I need to do now is just kind of stick this on a rock and then I'll get a, um, a fire bed going on this so I don't end up scorching the ground. And um, ironically, I made this handle, collar, um, the hatchet sheath during my last lockdown and uh, tidied this up. In actual fact, it needs a bit of an oil. So I might get to use this today. Oh, that was a pretty busy afternoon. I probably cut up a little bit more than I needed, but um, yeah, oh gosh, I'm a little bit tired now. Anyway, I'll use some of this firewood um, for uh, cooking today. Should be enough to get started. I really need, I really need a chopping block. I did see a stump um, on the way through here. What I'll do is I'll use the old silky saw and just take the top of it off and use that as a uh, chopping block, I think. Here's the stump I was telling you about. This is gonna take a little while, but I tell you, these silky saws, they'll cut through anything. What, that just didn't take too long at all. Ooh, well. I like my little hatchet. I wonder what it would be like batoning this. Let's have a go. Works pretty well too. Probably a little bit safer than the hatchet, eh, Bentley? This metal striker made out of a file a while back. Just don't know if it works very well. Up until now, though, I've been using quartz, and but I'm going to try a little bit. I'm pretty sure this is flint. So we should get a spark on this. And uh, if you watched, say, this video here, <laughs> there's lots to watch, isn't there? Um, then I made some char cloth. That was my char cloth tin. You would have seen me making this out of denim. So all going well. And a little bit of a uh, bird's nest. All going well if I put this up to here. We should be able to get a spark to ignite um, on the edge of this char cloth. Let's see how we get on.
There you go. How cool is that? I call that a success. Thought I was, you, I was having you on. I can use this piece of pipe to help it. How good is that? Okay, what do we got? Oh, here's a bird's nest. Oh, yes! We look really, really carefully. Oh, there we are. That's a nice one that's just budding. Yes. Oh, and there's another one there. This is where it gets a little bit tougher to find meat. This actually could take a little while, but um, I've got my pig hunting knife. I'll have to go back into this reserve and see what I can find. Pretty tough, but oh, look, I um, I didn't want to upset some of you non-meat lovers, so um, I had to stick them back in there, and I just carved off a couple of lengths off his shoulders, actually. So a nice little bit of shoulder bacon. So um, yeah, this should do pretty well. Who said that lockdown had to be boring? What do you reckon, bud? Oh. Well, you know you're not supposed to eat human food. Uh -uh. No. That's human food. And my dog has never eaten human food. The reason we're doing that is because Jed our past dog, Jack Russell, would always be scavenging. In fact, you'll see that in some of my videos. So we're just trying to prevent Bentley developing some of those habits. Pretty good though, eh? What do you reckon? Hmm? <laughs> oh, better than dog biscuits. And unlike Jed, Bentley doesn't go running out the gate as soon as it's open or gets around the fire. <laughs> if you watch some of those videos with him, he is always coming near the fire. I don't like a lot of plastic, so I've gone with the wood. <laughs> well, the end of when I've done a wild camp like this, all my clothes just reek of smoke. I really, really love it. Um, my wife of 34 years coming up on the 5th of September actually, so... Oh my goodness. That's just around the corner. What's the date today? I've lost track. <laughs> uh, she doesn't really like the smoke. So my hiking gear has been band to the spare room now that the kids have all moved out oh this is so good i'll go back and get the rest of the pig 
cut it up from the freezer. Sorry about that. But look, um, I'll leave it here for now. What I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go off for a night fish. There's this lake uh, nearby. I don't know what I'll catch in it, but I'll have a go. And um, what I'm going to have tonight is, I'm actually, because in, in lockdown level four, we weren't able to have any takeaways. Now that we're in level three, level three pretty much is level four with takeaways. I haven't had any. I've actually lost two kgs in the last three or four weeks. Great. Um, and so I'm going to fill this up with oil and I'm gonna fry some chips and see how how this goes. So we'll uh, we'll talk about that. So catch it shortly on a night. Oh, oh, she's. Oh, this is a beauty.